welcome back to the channel y'all in this video as we know y'all know we've been playing around with this ford explorer most of the day here and we're trying to take care of this bug itching that's going on here on the clear coat on the front bumper some people call it the front clip area and you know as you ride around um a lot of people probably don't know this but as you ride around and you don't wash the bug guts off your front end eventually this is what your paint will start to look like sorry to inform you but that's just the way it is whoever had this truck rode around with the bug guts stuck on the front of it they probably didn't have no idea that this acid bug guts were actually eating through the clear coat can't do that unless you got very well well excellent protection on it and then i still don't chance it. i see bugs start getting on the front end of my vehicle i use a waterless wash or something to remove it as quickly as possible all right i do it start to get like this right here so we're gonna use the mcguire's three and a one on it three and a one wax clean polish and protects here y'all know about this product much as i talked about it Remove swirls, water spots, and blemishes. Increase depth of gloss and color clarity. Provide long-lasting protection. Then it's kind of show you a before and after picture right here. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys a before and after picture on this bumper. That's why I got this tape right here. All right. So as you can see how terrible those bug guts look. You got your car all clean and shiny and, you know, and you look at this looks bad man so we're gonna see can we transform that some even though the damage is really done basically the bug is done the etch through the clear coat as you can see so we're just trying to make it look better basically all right so let's hit it yep when you see it like this the damage is pretty much done oh i'm trying to do this make it look better than what it looked right now that's all that's all I'm trying to do. See. Just keeping it real with y'all. I ain't expecting to make it 100% perfect because I can't. The people that had it should have took better care of the front clip and stuff. The bumper. It should have got them bugs and all that stuff off of it. But like I said, it wasn't mine at that time. It belonged to somebody else that didn't take care of it. Okay, so now the trick is just work this in. The good thing about the all-in-ones like that, once you're through working them, you're pretty much done, you know. No matter what happened. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do, just work that in there pretty good. I'm going to go ahead on and buff it back off. Because basically, I ain't trying to let it sit. I ain't trying to get no gloss from it. I'm trying to get those bugs, guts, etching off the paint. They make it look better. Like I said, that the damage is pretty much done. I'm just focused on making it look better. Now, that's it. So, let's get it working. Here we go. The people that had it just probably didn't care about it, you know. They may use the truck for hunting or uh, just didn't care or whatever, you know. Just rode around. Some people ride around with nasty cars. They don't care long they ride, you know. It's just the way it is in this world. Not everybody take care of the cars. They try to take care of them as much as we do, you know. You got people who don't really care about a clean car. As long as it run good and they're riding, you know. Well, that's what it is, though. Now, like I said here, you can see it truly does looks a lot better, as you can see here. Flip my rag here again. It looks a lot better here. The good thing about using this product after you're done using it, you protect it. You don't really have to come behind this Meguiar's 3-in-1 wax. 
because it has protection in it. It cleans, polishes, and protects in one easy step. So once you work this in, you feel me? Remove the etching and stuff, you're done. That's a good thing about it. You're done. It looks very good. I'm going to hit it one more time with a little bit more product here. Okay. Right quick light. It ain't going to hurt to hit it again. You can hit as many times you like. You know, the more and more you do it, probably the better it'll get. The improvements will be to your paint. That's my take on it. All right. All right. Okay, so I'm not going to let that sit. I'm just going to go ahead on and buff it back off. Because like I said, I'm just looking at the brace out of it. The braces and the protection. That's it. Let's hit it. We're going to pull that tape. And we're going to see a noticeable difference that this product did here. Y'all don't might not see it, but man, this it truly make your car look bad when them bugs get the etching and paint in front. Take away the from the whole vehicle. You can count on that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull the tape here to see how much notice of difference that we did get. Check that out. That's a night and day difference. Look at her. See how bad it looked at first here? Compared to this, oh yeah, you can see a big difference there. Look at it, like somebody starting to paint it over here and it stopped it right here. Look at their difference. So it does work, they make it look better, even from a distance. The damage is less appealing. You know, like I said, damage is done. It was like before I got the vehicle, but. I can make it look less noticeable. No one will really notice the damage once I get through with it, though. As you can see, a big difference right there to there. See there? Right across that tape glue right here, you can see a noticeable difference. This is the side I did. This is the side I haven't touched. See the difference? So you can see big improvements by using products like this. That's why you got to have stuff like this in your arsenal, man. Improvements for stuff just like this. Like I said, the damage is done. Only thing I'm trying to do, make it look a heck of a lot better. That's it. And the objective is fulfilled. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. Till next time, y'all see it. I'm out. Peace.